Well, good morning everybody, this is Lauren Saksev here because uh, why I'm uh, right now is that I'm in our hotel and uh, just beside me there are some uh, buildings as uh, you can see, it's Amsterdam Yes, and today's uh, special episode of uh, Cycling in Flanders and the Netherlands well, gather that I've already completed my full journey from Nielsen Vincent to Amsterdam in seven days today is going to be a bonus uh, video what I'm planning to do is that I will cycle with Bendigate Fran, you know, by bike, uh, which is parked outside, all the way to the Royal Palace, because I'll be visiting the Royal Palace around 12 o'clock, and then I will attend to go to the Boat Museum, and uh, we're going to find out what sort of boat it is, and uh, apparently it's very historical. Right now I'm going to have breakfast, and then we go on with the video. Okay, and so our adventure begins on our way to the Royal Palace. But first we have to go through these narrow streets, you know, especially with Bendigay Front, and I'm up to speed of uh, four, now down to 13 kilometers. Yep, 13 kilometers. 113 kilometers for autonomy. Uh, here it is, the Buckfeets, parked, nice and parked. Okay, here's the canal, and uh, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna stop a little bit. And here it is. Cross the bridge uh, and, and on we go. Okay, riding along uh, the canal, of course. Here it is. You can see that there's a canal, a lot of bicycles. Okay, I've just assumed that uh, they want me to go on the other side uh, of the canal, which means the other side of the road. Because, um, oh yeah, because I thought there was a two-way lane. And so uh, now I understood. So I'm learning. I'm learning uh, little by little, especially when it comes to cycling in the Netherlands. And these are the boats. Okay, here we go. We have the Royal Palace. All right. As I'm cycling, here's the Royal Palace. And I'm going to find a place to park. Okay. Yeah, just around the square. And so, yeah, after all that chaos, uh, but I'm learning uh, to handle it and to live through it. And so, here it is, here's the Royal Palace, built in the 17th century. It was originally a town centre built during the Dutch Golden Age, but then by the time Napoleon came, o came over and uh, changed uh, the Dutch Republic into the Batavian Republic from 1795 until 1808, and then it became uh, uh, some sort of kingdom because um, in 1808 Napoleon Bonaparte who has a nephew called uh, Louis Napoleon or something like that and uh, he transformed this building into a palace and so since then even after the defeat of uh, Napoleon Bonaparte at uh, the Battle of Waterloo uh, the Netherlands uh, became the kingdom or let's say the United Kingdom of the Netherlands since uh, 1813 even, even two years uh, before uh, the Battle of Waterloo or even the 100 years uh, campaign and then from then on, uh, for 200 years, it became a royal palace. And um, one of the Dutch kings I can never think of is Willem Alexander and his wife uh, Maxima. And yet, you guessed it, these are the cycling royals. They are the bike riding royals, just like everybody else uh, here in the Netherlands. And. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that Ben de Gatefram would be thrilled to meet uh, one of those uh, bicycles uh, used by uh, the royal family. But of course, it's just a bike, and so yeah, just like uh, every other bike. And now, I'm not sure if I'm a bit too early, but 12 o'clock we will go inside and have a look at the royal palace. Okay, I just uh, parked uh, Bendigate Fran uh, at that location, different location, because we just left uh, the Royal Palace. Although I did not take any footages uh, from inside the palace because they uh, prohibit um, the use of flash photography in a palace. And so that means I'm at the Boat Museum. And here it is, the Boat Museum here in Amsterdam. How did Amsterdam uh, get its name? Well, it was Dam, and this is how it gets its name. And now, together that uh, wind, 
gather that now that uh, I'm already uh, on my way to go inside the museum. Let's take a look at what the ship is called. Hendrika Maria. Yep. It's uh, Ergenar. Ergenar. Yep. Name Hendrika Maria. 1914. J. Hendrix. Steel. Length 23.30 meters. Sorry. Width 0.51 meters. Drought. Yep, it was commissioned in 1914 by Johannes Hendrik a timber merchant active in Amsterdam since 1884. Timber from Scandinavia, right? Amsterdam. Oops, yeah, because of the trading. Here it is. It's the whole design of uh, the Hendrika Maria. And then we are about to go inside. Okay, this is the living room. We are inside uh, on board the the ship. Yep, you can see that there is a model of uh, the ship over there, which was built uh, around the 1880s, 1890s, and even uh, before World War One ever broke out. But um, the the thing about the Netherlands is that they stayed out of the war in during the First World War, especially under Qu Queen uh, Wilhelmina. Uh, from 1898 until 1948 and uh, stuff like that and then you have the Delta where you see the picture of the windmill and uh, there is this old radio which is over there and yeah and here there are the sofas which means um, I might just as well yeah you can just as well imagine being one of those people you know living in Amsterdam especially on barges like this and then uh, yeah it's just so a lot of comfort uh, within this vessel and so yeah there is a lot more to explore and so here we go okay we are now inside the room called um, yep which is a bedroom and in fact um, according to here which is uh, number four it's uh, models of houseboats. Yep, that's the model of the houseboat. This is um, the very recent one, which was built around 60s or 70s. Yeah, but this is uh, the oldest one of uh, the houseboat, uh, which is over there. There you could see a dining room, you see a kitchen. It has everything uh, that is uh, needed, especially when it comes to the houseboat. And which is here in Amsterdam, because, yeah, as you could tell, here you could see the, the designs of the houseboats and then uh, and here it shows a timeline of uh, how they lived in one of those boats oops and here this is the mast this is where the mast is placed because above there in uh, Hendrika Maria this is where the mast is and so here there's a wooden floor, damp proof sheeting, insulation, paving stone for ballast, wooden slats, and bottom. Yeah. And then in Dutch it says bodem, laties, stop tegels voor ballast, isolatie, damperende folie, houten vloer. Here we go. And here's. Um, the master from below and here if we look inside here this is the bed this is where oh yes here we go number 10 is uh, oh no number nine wait wait a minute okay number nine is presentation and number 10 is the bow yeah or the berth which where you see the bucket for uh, taking water or collecting water and you see these cans the lantern ropes for the mast and this is where I think uh, the adult uh, must have slept and there's a ladder in order to climb up uh, to gain access to the upper above of the deck well and here I am in this uh, same room as before you know the living room where uh, the settlers or let's say the owners of the boat were able to relax especially on uh, Maria Hendrika and uh, here you get the Philips television which is made obviously in Eindhoven and there you have the Rundi 
which is uh, an old radio back to the 60s and uh, yeah okay before we leave uh, this is the kitchen where there is, is a kettle and uh, uh, pots and also there's an iron and here they have uh, some sort of cook or heat uh, uh, within uh, the houseboat and here you have the very rich uh, Delta and so um, this is uh, the the water pump but this will mean you have they will have to use the bucket to collect the water and put it inside and here there's this small little bathroom especially for the kids who once uh, lived there and yeah in those days um, when, okay, when people uh, use the stereotype saying that, oh, Dutch people very tall, well, the Dutch people back then, they were smaller than uh, what uh, people assumed. And so, yeah, it's uh, pretty much uh, the way that um, they once lived. And uh, you see here, you see the photograph of a family with the houseboat called uh, Maria Handerica. And then there is um, the lantern with the, some sort of horn and a thermometer and see the rope and uh, yeah here we go okay, we're about to leave the uh, Maria Hendrika and say bye bye to Hendrika Maria which is a 1914 uh, houseboat and so yeah it's been amazing oh and here we have another old-timer ship which is a uh, Parc d'Eau oh it's in French actually but admire the beautiful ships like that or boats like that yeah and there's another one which is um, uh, decorated highly decorated uh, vessel over there and so here we go and there we have it this is uh, the bonus video for cycling in Flanders and the Netherlands although not much of a, of a cycling uh, video but it's more to do with uh, visiting Amsterdam and so thank you very much for all your support and it's uh, been very meaningful for me, especially when it comes to seven days of uh, traveling through Flanders and the Netherlands, especially the final destination, which is Amsterdam. And so uh, there will be more videos to come uh, about this like that, especially for that English language uh, playlist called Cycling in Flanders and the Netherlands. About with the rest of the video, I will just as well return to speak Welsh and Hungarian if necessary. Well, mostly Hungarian. Okay. Thank you very much and hopefully you enjoyed the video and have a nice day.